welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis at present we study aliphatic carbon nitrogen bond formation in this topic so far we had one lecture where we studied the principles for the aliphatic carbon nitrogen bond formation following that we studied the ritter reaction where if you have the alcohol or alkene they can be converted into the carbocation in the presence of acid once you form the carbocation that can be readily reacted with nitrile you will be able to form imine that imine when you form when you react with water you will be able to convert into amide basically the transformation of tertiary alcohol or secondary alcohol or primary alcohol into amides we also have seen the use of cobalt chloride based catalyst for the transformation of allylic alcohol in the presence of acetic anhydride and nitrile into the corresponding allylic amides then also we have seen uh, some example for the substitution reactions in this lecture we will study the reactions of aldehydes and ketones with amines as all of you know very well aldehydes readily undergo reaction with amine to give imine that imine also reactive if you have excess amine it can further undergo reaction you will be able to get addition products for example if you look at here the reaction of formaldehyde with ammonia is shown in this reaction six molecule of formaldehyde undergoes condensation with four molecule of ammonia where you will be able to generate the hexa methylene tetramine as the product once you form the imine by condensation of this ammonia with this formaldehyde you form the imine that imine can undergo further reaction with ammonia that can further react with aldehyde in this way you will be able to generate this hexamethylene tetramine as a product this is uh, similar to adamantane structure if you take for example benzaldehyde when you react with ammonia which also undergo readily reaction to give imine so once you form the imine that imine can further react with ammonia in this way you will be able to generate this diamine is a product once you form this one which can further react with two equivalent of benzaldehyde then you will be able to generate the ship base as the product so if you whenever you have the amine that can be readily reacted with aldehyde to form the imine that imine if you have the amine it can undergo further reaction you will get the corresponding addition product now let us look at uh, some applications the reaction of a carbonyl compound with amine is shown here if you have the this carbonyl compound when you react with amine you will be able to get the addition product this is electrophile which can readily undergo addition reaction then you will be able to form the addition product once you form this one in the presence of acid you can protonate and once you form the
So when you add a proton, so it will be able to form the hydronium ion. Once you form this one, this can lose a water molecule, you will be able to generate the imine as the product. Once you form the imine, when you have a hydride source, uh, in this case, you can use sodium cyanoborohydride. For example, when you use sodium cyanoborohydride, so which can readily undergo addition reaction, then you will be able to generate this amine as a product. So, if you have carbonyl compound, you can readily react with amine, you will be able to generate imine, that imine can be readily react, uh, reduced into amine using hydride. In this case, uh, the use of sodium cyanoborohydride, usually for the uh, reduction of amines, we use sodium cyanoborohydride or lithium cyanoborohydride. They are slightly less reactive comparing to sodium borohydride that can readily reduce, can undergo addition reaction with your imine then you will be able to form the uh, alkyl amine as the product. On the other hand, if you have here, for example, this R, uh, one of them is uh, here is a hydrogen. So, just we have seen and you will be able to form this imine as a product which can undergo reduction. On the other hand, if these two are alkyl, you will be able to generate the imenium ion which can readily undergo reaction, you will be able to generate uh, this alkyl amine as the product. Now, let us look at the uh, relative ray, the reactivity of amines are shown here. Primary amine is more reactive comparing to secondary amine, which is more reactive comparing this cyclic amine is more reactive comparing to acyclic amine, which is more reactive comparing to aryl amines. So, aliphatic amines are more reactive comparing to aryl amines. So, this is the reactivity order of amines. Now, let us see some more examples. Here, the reaction of benzaldehyde with ammonia shown, it can give the imine as a product. Once you form the imine, that imine can be reduced using hydrogen, the presence of nickel catalyst. In this way, you will be able to generate benzyl amine as a product. So, this is a very important compound. So, if you have the benzaldehyde, you can readily react with ammonia, you will be able to generate imine, that imine can be further reduced into amine using hydrogen in the presence of nickel catalyst, this hydrogenation reaction. The other example involves the reaction of cyclohexyl aldehyde with this amine, tertiary butyl amine. Uh, this can be converted into the corresponding Imine, once you form the imine, this can be reduced in situ in methanol solvent by sodium borohydride. So, you will be able to generate this uh, alkyl amine as the product. So, so far we have seen uh, if you have the aldehyde that can be readily reacted with ammonia or amine to give the imine, that imine can be uh, reduced into alkyl amine as a product. Now, let us look at some more example in this direction. The next example involves the reaction of cyclohexanone with this uh, alkyl amine, primary amine and which can be reacted readily, then you will be able to generate the corresponding imine as a product by use of water. Uh, once if you form the imine, that imine can be reduced uh, using lithium cyanoborohydride in methanol solvent. In this way, you will be able to generate this n propyl cyclohexyl amine as a product. 
The next example involves the reaction of formaldehyde with this uh, cyclic amine, secondary amine. So, when you do the reaction, you will be able to generate the imine. That imine can be further reduced in the reaction medium using sodium cyanoborohydride. In this way, you will be able to generate the N methyl amine as a product. So, if you want to do N methylation, so the best approach is you can uh, take aldehyde to form the imine, that imine can be reduced in uh, further to give amine as the product. Alternatively, you can also do, if you have this uh, secondary amine, you can also try to react with methyl iodide by substitution reaction, you will be able to form the N methyl derivative. The best approach is, is the reaction with the formaldehyde that can be reduced with the reaction medium, then you will be able to form the N methyl amine derivative as a product. Here an example shown. So, this synthesis of this amino acid starts with the secondary amine, cyclic amine. Once if you have this one, when you react with this aldehyde, so it can give the imine as a product. Once you form the imine, that imine can be reduced in the reaction medium using sodium cyanoborohydride uh, that into amine. Once you form the amine, when you do hydrogenation, using hydrogen, the presence of palladium charcoal in the ethanol solvent, you can uh, deprotect the benzyl group. And further, you can also, you have the, uh, this protecting group, they also can be removed in the presence of acid. So, in this way, you will be able to generate this amino acid as the product. So, so you can see here, these are produced in higher plants as iron chelating amino acids that promote uptake of iron from the soil. This application of this uh, amino acid. Now, let us look at some more reactions. If you look in the previous reactions we have seen, if you have the aldehyde, you can react with ammonia or amine, you can make the imine. That imine can be reduced in the reaction medium or so se separately using uh, hydride or hydrogen, the presence of nickel based catalyst or palladium based catalyst. You can try to uh, reduce the imine to amine. In this way, you can make the alkyl amine. Alternatively, you can also, if for example, if you have the amine, that amine can be reacted with uh, aldehyde. So, you will be able to form the imine. That imine can be reduced in the presence of formic acid to alkyl amine and where you generate water as a byproduct. But the mechanism of this reaction shown here when you take this amine, when you react with aldehyde, it undergoes addition reaction, then you will be able to form uh, this uh, intermediate. Once you form this one, so proton exchange, then you will be able to generate this intermediate. Once if you have this one, this can deprotonate the acidic proton from the formic acid, then you will be able to form the hydronium species and So, once you form, now this can lose water molecule, you will be able to form the imenium ion. That imenium ion can further deprotonate this acidic proton. At the same time, this can now undergo uh, addition to the imine. In this way, you will be able to form this alkyl amine cation as a product. Once you form this ammonium salt, this can lose a proton, then you will be able to form the N methylamine uh, as a product in this reaction, where you generate carbon dioxide as a byproduct. So, this is an example if you have formaldehyde, you can try to readily react with amine and you can do a reduction using formic acid. In this way, you will be able to form N methylamine derivatives, where as you can see here, you generate a, bi a carbon dioxide as a byproduct. This slide shows some more examples for the transformation of amine to corresponding N methyl amines in the presence of formic acid. For example, the first case involves the reaction of this primary amine with the formaldehyde in the presence of formic acid and then you will be able to form this dimethyl amine as a product. The next example you should be 
So, in this case, uh, when you react this amine with the formaldehyde, then you will be able to form imine Once you form the imine, which can now readily undergo addition reaction, then you will be able to form As the product, once you form this one, this can further react with another molecule of formaldehyde. To give As a product, this can be just as we have seen can be reduced to give this N methylamine as the product. So, in this reaction, as you know, two molecules of formaldehyde is involved. First, one molecule of formaldehyde undergoes reaction, which undergoes aromatic electrophilic substitution, which can give this amine as the product. Once you form this amine, which can further react with formaldehyde you will be able to generate imine. That imine undergoes reaction with the formic acid to give this N-methylamine derivative as the product. Here an example shown very complex molecule. In this you have the uh, secondary amine. Now, this amine undergoes reaction with the formaldehyde to give imine that has been reduced in the presence of formic acid to give this N-methylamine as the product. So, this is one of the effective route if you want to introduce methyl group. So, what you can do if you have the amine you can try to react with the formaldehyde that can be readily reduced uh, using formic acid to give the N methylamine as a product. So, far we have seen the formation of imine and their uh, reduction into amines and the next one is uh, the stark enamine synthesis. In this uh, reaction the carbonyl compound undergoes condensation with amine usually secondary amine. Here the reaction of pyrrolidine is shown here. When you take this pyrrolidine, it can undergo condensation with this ketone and you will be able to form the amine. By losing one molecule of water, you will be able to form this from the ketone and this amine, then you will be able to generate this the imenium ion.
this enamine uh, shown here. This enamine can uh, readily undergo substitution addition reactions. Some of the examples shown here. For example, if you have here methyl iodide, which can readily undergo substitution reaction. In this way, you will be able to introduce uh, uh, the alkyl group. And on the other hand, if you have acid chloride, you can also carry out acylation. In this way, you will be able to generate 1,3-diketone as the product. Now, let us see some examples. So, mechanism of this reaction shown when you have the enamine, which can readily undergo reaction as shown. And if you have the alkyl halide, this alkyl halide can readily undergo substitution reaction. So, you will be able to get the substitution product once you form this one, this can readily undergo hydrolysis. So, when you have the aluminum salt, which can undergo readily reaction with water, addition reaction as we have seen, you will be able to form this intermediate. Once you form this, uh, which can lose a proton, you will have this cation intermediate. Once you have this one, this can now convert into the ketone as a product. So, if you have ketone, you can try to, try to readily react with secondary amine. Then you can make the enamine. That enamine can be readily reacted with the electrophile to give the substitution product. In this case, if you have the, for example, cyclohexanone, you can uh, convert into the corresponding two alkyl cyclohexanone. And for example, if you take the methyl iodide in this case, and you can try to convert into 2 methyl cyclohexanone through the enamine intermediate. For example, in this case, and as you form the enamine that undergoes substitution reaction with the alkyl halide. Once you form this one, this can further undergo reaction with the water you will be able to convert into the corresponding ketone as the product. The next example involves uh, the reaction of the substrate with this alba promo ethyl acetate as we have seen just now. So, this can readily undergo substitution reaction. Then you will be able to form this Imine salt, once you form this one, when you react with water, you can readily convert into ketone as a product. And the next example involves the reaction of this enamine with acid chloride. As we have seen just now, you can readily react and you can introduce acyl group. So, once you form this one, when you react with the uh, HCl, then you will be able to form uh, this 1,3 diketone as a product. The next example involves the reaction of this enamine with allyl chloride. As we have seen, you can readily react by SN2 pathway, then you will be able to form imine salt. Once you form this one, as we have seen just now, you can react with water, you will be able to do allylation. So, this enamine can be readily reacted with uh, alkyl halide or acid chloride, and they can be readily coupled via nuclear substitution to give the corresponding alkylated compound. For example, in this case, you can introduce allyl group and here you introduce you can introduce the acyl group and in this case also you can see here you can try to introduce alkyl group. And if you look at these reactions, the enamine uh, the formation of enamine, enamine is crucial. The next example involves the reaction of uh, enamine with uh, the activated alkene, uh, which can undergo readily Michael addition. And then you will be able to form the addition product as we have seen. Once you form this one, then you have to react with the uh, water and then you can remove this auxiliary, then you will be able to form this addition product. The next one also involves the reaction of methylvinyl ketone. As we have seen, again it can undergo addition reaction, Michael addition. Once you form this one, so 
So this ketone as a product, additional product, this can be further reacted. For example, if you have acid or base, it can be further reacted by aldol condensation, you will be able to generate uh, this bicyclic ketone as a product. Basically, this reaction involves, the first one involves the nitrostyrene. Basically, here uh, addition reaction takes place, you get this addition product. In the next example, addition followed by intramolecular order reaction is involved to give this uh, bicyclic ketone as a product. The next example involves the reaction of this lactone, this enamine, which can readily react and you will be able to get So, this can be further converted in the pressure base to corresponding carboxylic acid as a product. So, if you have this reactive cyclic compound that can be readily reacted by nucleophilic ring opening to give this open product that can be further converted into a useful scaffold. Next example involves the reaction of acrolein. As we have seen, this also can undergo Michael addition, and then you will be able to form the addition product. Once you form this aldehyde, which can be further reacted, for example, in this case, they have further converted into cyclooctane carboxylic acid as a product further by further reactions. Therefore, this very important reaction, it has a wide application in organic synthesis. Therefore, whenever you have the uh, ketone, if you want to do alkylation or if you want to do addition at the alpha carbon atom, you can try to make the enamine. Once you form the enamine, that can readily undergo a reaction as a nucleophile, addition or substitution reaction with the electrophiles to give a new carbon carbon bond formation. In this way, you will be able to uh, generate variety of uh, compounds. Here the reaction of aldehyde with methylamine and the dicarboxylic acid shown, it involves a three component coupling reaction. In this reaction, the amine first undergoes condensation with aldehyde to give imine. Once you form the imine, now since the reaction is carried out in acidic medium, the acid can exist in the enol form. Once if you have this one, this, which can readily undergo reaction with the imine that you generate from the aldehyde and amine. So, addition reaction and once then the amine whatever you get the secondary amine which can undergo further reaction with another aldehyde. Now, this enol form of this carbon can undergo addition reaction in this way you will be able to form this bicyclic ketone by decarboxylation, the mechanism of this reaction shown. So, first the aldehyde undergoes condensation with this amine, then you will be able to generate the imine as a product as shown here. Addition can give this intermediate, the proton transfer can give this alcohol. Once you form this one, now this can lose a water molecule as shown here. So, you will be able to form the imine. Once you form the imine, now this enol can undergo addition reaction as shown here and you will be able to generate this intermediate by proton transfer. Once we have this one, now this amine, secondary amine can undergo intramolecular reaction with this aldehyde, then you will be able to get the addition product. This can be converted to this by proton transfer. Once you form this one, now this can lose to give this imine salt. Once you form this one, since you carry out the reaction in uh, acidic medium and this enol now can undergo reaction intramolecularly shown by deprotonation of this, you can lose one molecule of water 
and you will be able to form this uh, bicyclic compound. Once you form this one, what can happen in acidic medium? Now you can lose carbon dioxide is shown through the six membered cyclic transition state, then you will be able to form this compound. This can further convert into ketone. Once you form this ketone, this also can lose carbon dioxide as shown here through the six membered uh, transition state, then you will be able to form this enol which can convert into the ketone as the product. So, basically this reaction involves a manic reaction. Uh, first, the aldehyde undergoes reaction with amine to give imine which acts as electrophile in this reaction. Once you form the imine, that imine undergoes further reaction with the enol that you generate from the ketone. for example here and this enol can undergo addition with this imine and then you get this compound. Once you form this one, it can further make undergo further intramolecular uh, addition reaction with this imine that you can generate imine salt that you can generate from this and you will be able to have this compound. Once if you have this one, if you carry out the reaction acidic medium under heating, you can lose uh, carbon dioxide in this way you will be able to generate this bicyclic ketone as a product. So, the next example involves the reaction of uh, propylamine with aldehyde as this also as the dialdehyde and one of the aldehyde can undergo reaction with the propylamine you form the imine that imine can undergo reaction as just we have seen with this enol that can be generated from this carboxylic acid then it can undergo addition reaction and similarly then whatever amine you get secondary amine that can further undergo reaction with this aldehyde. Now, that aldehyde that imine whatever it generate further it undergoes reaction the enol that can be generated from this side and in this way you will be able to generate this tricyclic compound where you form carbon 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 hydrogen bond during the process. Similarly, you can also couple this dialdehyde with this carbonyl compound having dicarboxylic acid with methylamine to give this bicyclic ketone as a product. And here also you generate uh, two carbon hydrogen bond, two carbon carbon bond. First, as we have seen, you form the imine, that imine acts as electrophile that undergo addition uh, reaction with the enol that you generate from the uh, keto carboxylic acid. Then uh, it can undergo further reaction with another aldehyde, then addition reaction in this way you will be able to form this ketone after decarboxylation. So, when you heat, here also decarboxylation takes place and you will be able to generate uh, this bicyclic ketone as a product. So, this example involves a similar kind of reaction here also it has two aldehyde and methylamine which undergoes reaction with this enol that you can generate from the keto dicarboxylic acid and in this way you can make the tricyclic ketone as a product. And now, let us look at the amino acid synthesis. As you can see here, if you have the aldehyde you can readily react with amine to give imine that imine can be reacted with the cyanide ion to give the addition product. Once if you have the addition product then can be hydrolyzed to give the carboxylic acid the product. In this way if you have the aldehyde and the amine you can convert into alpha amino acid. The mechanism of the Strecker reaction shown aldehyde first undergoes addition reaction with this amine this acts as a nucleophile this acts as electrophile then you will have this intermediate. Once you form this hydronium ion which can lose water molecule as shown you will form the imenium ion. Once you form the imenium ion the cyanide ion can undergo addition reaction with this imenium ion then you will be able to form this imine. Once you form this you will be able to form the nitrile. Once you form the nitrile which can readily undergo addition reaction with the water in acidic medium, then you will be able to form this imine derivative. Once you form this one imine which can convert into amide, the amide can undergo in the process of acid undergo reaction with the water in the process of acid to give this astral as the product. Once you form this astral which can now in the process of acid then you can uh, do protonate this amine you will be able to form this uh, salt which can readily convert into the amino acid as a product. Therefore, if you have the aldehyde and amine you can do the condensation 
to form the imine. That imine can be reacted with the cyanide ion. You give this imine derivative. Once you form the imine derivative, that can be converted into amide. That amide can be further transformed into the carboxylic acid as the product. Here an example shown for the amino acid synthesis. The first example involves the reaction of this aldehyde with the HCN the, and ammonia. As we have seen just now, it can undergo reaction with ammonia, you can form the imine. Once you form the imine, that can undergo reaction with the cyanide ion, uh, you give this uh, addition product. What you do here, you make a carbon nitrogen, carbon carbon bond. Once you form this one, when you do the hydrolysis, and you will be able to generate the alpha amino acid as the product. Since in this case, you start with this uh, substrate, and then in this way, you will be able to generate methionine amino acid as the product. The next one involves the reaction of the aldehyde with ammonia followed by addition reaction with the cyanide ion, you will be able to form this uh, nitrile derivative. Once you form this one, when you react with uh, HBr, then you can cleave this ether group and you will be able to form this serine as the product. The next example involves the reaction of acetaldehyde with the sodium cyanide and uh, in the presence of ammonium chloride, you will be able to form this nitrile. Once you form the nitrile and when you do the hydrolysis, you will be able to make alanine as a product. Therefore, um, if you have aldehyde, that aldehyde can be readily reacted with amine to form the imine. That imine can be readily reacted with cyanide ion to give the nitrile derivatives. This nitrile can be further hydrolyzed into amino acid. So, in this way, you can try to make alpha amino acids. Here are some examples shown. The first example involves the reaction of the secondary amine with this aldehyde. You can do the condensation once you form the imine, that the imine can be reacted with cyanide ion. So, you can uh, form this uh, nitrile derivative. Once you form this one, uh, this can be further converted into ester by hydrolysis followed by uh, esterification. This is uh, a very important uh, drug we use to reduce the risk of heart disease. The next example involves the reaction of this aldehyde with this aniline derivative. Once if you, have, you can do condensation, you form the imine. That imine can be readily reacted with the cyanohydrate in the presence of syngonium catalyst and you will be able to form the corresponding nitrile in a optically pure form since they use here chiral catalyst. Once if we have this optically active nitrile derivative which can be further converted into the peptidine derivative in good yield. Here are some examples shown how you can convert the carbonyl compound aldehydes ketone into variety of nitrogen containing uh, scaffold. The first one involves the reaction of hydrazine with this uh, carbonyl compound. You can do the condensation you form the this imine derivative. Once you form this one, you have the NH2 which can further react with another molecule of uh, this carbonyl compound. In this way, you can make this imine which is known as azine. If you have this carbonyl compound, you can also do condensation with this uh, NH2. In this way, you will be able to form the semi arbozone and also you can try to react with phenyl hydrazine. In this case, you can generate the phenyl hydrazone by condensation. And if you have the ammonium hydroxide, you can also try to react hydroxyl amine and you can make this imine derivative which can when you react with the acetic anhydride, you can convert into nitrile. Therefore, if you have the carbonyl compound, you can readily react with amine to give variety of compounds. The first one you get this a condensation product which is known as phenyl hydrazone that can be derived from the phenyl hydrazine. Similarly, if you have this hydrogen derivative, you can try to do condensation with this amine selectively, you will be able to form the semi arbozone. The next example involves the reaction of hydrazine. You can try to react readily with the two equivalent of carbonyl compound, you can form the azine as the product. The next one involves the reaction of hydroxyl amine, which can readily undergo reaction with the carbonyl compound by condensation, you will be able to form this imine uh, derivative, hydroxyl imine. So, this hydroxyl imine derivative can be readily converted into nitrile in the presence of acetic anhydride. 
In summary, today the first part we have seen the reaction of aldehyde with amines. For example, if you have ammonia and formaldehyde, they can be readily uh, reacted to give this hexamethyl tetramine as the product. Thus, aldehyde is readily undergo reaction with amine to give the imine. That imine can be depends upon the reaction nature of the uh, substrate can be further reacted to give this addition product. Then we have seen the reaction of imine to amines by hydrogenation. Uh, you can use uh, hydride for example, like uh, sodium cyanide borohydride, lithium cyanide borohydride. They can readily undergo addition reaction with the imine. In this way, you will be able to form alkyl amine as the product. Alternatively, if you have hydrogenation catalyst in the presence of you can also uh, similarly you can also try to reduce the imine double bond using hydrogen in the presence of a metal catalyst like uh, nickel. In this way you can try to convert imine to amine as the product. Then we have seen how you can reduce imine to amine using acid as a hydrogen source. Then we have seen the formation of enamine and their application for the alkylation, acylation reactions. And if you have the carbonyl compound like cyclohexanone, if you want to introduce alkyl or acyl group at the alpha carbon atom, what you can do? You can try to react with a secondary amine like a pyrrolidine. You can make the imine which can convert into enamine. Once you form the enamine which act, can act as a nucleophile, if you have the electrophile like uh, alkyl halide, it can undergo substitution reaction. On the other hand, if you have here acid chloride, you can also replace the Cl, you can make the acylation at the alpha carbon atom. If you have the alkene, activated alkene, you can also do addition reaction, Michael addition. In this way, you can form a carbon-carbon bond. Then we have seen the alkaloids. If you have the aldehyde, I mean they can undergo condensation to imine that can be reacted with the enol. In this way, you can make a new carbon-carbon carbon hydrogen bond. We have seen the uh, construction of variety of alkaloids um, from the dialdehydes and uh, uh, dicarboxylic acids bearing ketone uh, in the presence of amine to give this uh, polycyclic ketone as the product. Then we have seen the Strecker amino acid synthesis. If you have the aldehyde, you can try to readily react with uh, amine to form the imine. That imine can be reacted with the cyanide ion. You can get the addition product. Once you have the addition product, the cyanide can be converted into carboxylic acid by hydrolysis. In this way, you can try to make alpha amino acids. We have seen several examples. And also then we have seen the reaction of carbonyl compound with the different amine sources. We have seen the reaction with the hydrazine and uh, hydroxylamine. Uh, they can be readily converted into amine uh, derivatives. Um, with this, we conclude this lecture. Thank you very much.